Hello and welcome back, my name is Jay Riviera and we are back with more Sky Shines Bedlam. We are currently in a better situation than we were. Very, very short on team members, but that's fine. Everybody's healed up nicely. Ugh, it's rough, but we've got 46. Um, 46 power cells to spend. One second while I let me cut in. Ugh. My apologies. And I think we need to put it into meat and crude. 15 power cells for that. Yep, that's at full efficiency. And our meat is at full efficiency now as well. So that leaves with one power cell. But yeah, we need to do the barracks. That is our next objective. We are going to head back to where we were. Head down towards this elite here. And then over to these power cells. And then down this side of the map. So yeah, we need to backtrack on ourselves, which is a bit of a problem. And I think we need to do these points of interest, hoping for a fight to get a bit more crude and meat. Nothing of value, so that was just a waste of resources. Intervene. Invite the nomads onto the door. This is probably a bad idea. It is a bad idea. Oh, shit balls. Right, cool, here we go. So we've got Skaga, Hunter, Sharaya, and Black Razor. Which is our best team. So let's go for it. And what we need from this is we need to gain some meat, some crude, and hopefully just boss it. We're just gonna boss it. <clears throat> let's see what we're up against. Fuck this map. Three trenchers, trencher, trencher, and a trencher. Okay, right, we can deal with this. They've only got three, we have four. Let's kind of set up here. Skaga, actually it would would have probably been better to bring Skaga over the other side. So we'll just send him over here. We'll tuck him in a little. And they do six damage when exploded. So what kind of movement range do you have? Right. I would love to know what area of effect this has. If it's just right next to it, or does it do the diagonals as well? Because if it does the diagonals, what we could do is we could bait them in. But then again, we do more damage. He does 11 damage. So if we bring him over here. Preferably leave the sniper where he is. We'll leave the frontliner and bring...
what kind of movement do you have? Right, so you kind of get into range of work. So if we just bring the frontliner up, does mean that we are limiting the sniper's, sniper's view, but that's fine. We'll, we'll end the turn like that. Now they are all up in our business. Right, so this is going to be seven damage here. Sorry about that. And then we can kill... We can actually move out of the guy's range and kill, which means that he is going to have to take a movement which halves his damage, and we get a level up, which is awesome. And it means Skaga can hit for nine. So if we do that, And then take him out with the frontliner. Level up! That's fine. Skaga can tank that. Let's take a hit for seven. And then we can take him down. Alright, so... Skaga really didn't take much damage. He shouldn't be out for a long time. And we got meat and crude from that, so... In theory, that was a decent battle. We need to head back so we can head down this way. This backtracking is not a good plan, but it's got to be done. We are going to do the points of interest. We are hoping for a fight as well. Approach the Wanderer. Attack the Wanderer. Nope. Nothing from that. We gained a hell of a lot of threat from that, though. Jesus. Oh, shit. This is new. So what do we want from the Frontliner? More health? The Gunslinger more damage? Or more movement range. Probably more damage from the front line from the gunslinger. And this brings a brand new mechanic to the game. The fact that you can choose what they gain every time that they um, level up. But this does mean we can actually do some healing. Let's use some power cells on that. One day Skaga should be back. We'll do this point of interest. Do, 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 do. We need a fight. That'll do. Let's head on down the road and head towards this elite. Right, we've got our fight. It looks like it's a one that's going to be... Shadow, stop it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just the cat being an arsehole. It looks like we are going to have to defend the dozer here. A lot of frontliners. We have two trenchers. No, we don't. We have one trencher. But this could be fine. Bring the sniper into a position where he's going to be more useful. And then if we kind of line up here and just end the turn, hopefully they'll advance double towards her. Now 
Mate, you're getting hit. Whoa, what's this shit? They get more defense while standing next to each other. Yep, that's exactly what that is. You can do eight to this guy. So yeah, let's do that. Right, and you can pull back and kill this guy over here. So I think that's our best course of action. Just means that everybody has to move to attack. Which halves the damage that they do. Skaga's taken a pretty damn hard beating. You can hit for nine. Then if you move, you're gonna hit for five. Skaga can't take a hit from all of them. But what we can do is hit for nine, move and kill for seven, level up, nope. And then if we take out this guy, they kind of kill Skaga. Especially if they start doing shit like that. Four damage, cool. Skaga's gonna have to do some recovery after this, but that's fine. Heal for meat. Fuck. This has completely changed. And these take crude. kill right you can do 11 if you move right we have this in the bag now five damage from him 11 damage from him booyah skaga took a canny beaten there but you know sometimes that's what elites are there for 20 days shit man Maybe do health. We're gonna head off to this elite fight. Victor Cruel. Oh, brand new elite. He looks like a frontliner because he's got melee weapons. So Skaga, you're gonna have to come off. And I think we're gonna have to go for Tazzy has zero kills though, two kills. But we need we need a trench at to um, manage the frontliners that are coming at work. Right, four frontliners and twenty three health. He taking the piss. It's cool that he's going to be on my team if we if we do this battle, but 23 health is hard to deal with. 16 health on each of these. Oh, this guy sucks ass.
We need to purely just set up here. Let's end the turn like that. We are going to go as defensive as possible. They actually use a strategy, which I don't like. I don't like that shit. Right, he hasn't come into range of where. So what we want to do is move to, say, here. Bring the trencher up. Bring this guy over here. So we are on like a defensive front. Let's end the turn. Shit, he's running at us. Right, 11 damage from here. That we can deal with. Right, we need to keep out of his movement range. Especially for this turn. So if we pull together, get the defense bonus hopefully. And come in here, take a, take a hit this guy. Then bring the trencher back to displace him. So that he's got a move to take an attack. Fuck, man. We need to get out of this guy's hitbox because he does seven damage, which is just not going to be plausible. And these are just going to stick next to him and keep him defended so he doesn't take as much damage. So what I'm going to do is let's push this guy away and then we'll bring the frontliner away and take him out. Right, we need the sniper to move. Somebody's taking a hit here. We can actually chip away a little bit of damage from him. <coughs> oh, Jesus. We need to move this guy away. move him up for now. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. We can kill with a sniper. And then we want to just end the turn there. Four damage, that's fine. Right, he's got nine health left. Get 
can get a shot away for seven here. So let's do that. And then if we come down here, boom, that's him dead. Level up, motherfucker. Then let's take a shot. If that's what you're going to do, then that is absolutely awesome. Six damage. You do five damage. You only do three. Right, so we can't get a kill on the trencher here. Because the damage is just too high. Right, go for the sniper. Cool, we actually pulled that right out of the bag. I was expecting that to be much harder. And it means we get fucking Victor Cruel. Oh yeah! But he only, he only has 17 health for us. Are you taking the piss? 80% chance of extra damage every third turn. Because he's a Marauder. Right, so Marauders have changed their trait, I'm guessing. We have a lot of Marauders here. Becomes hard to hit every third turn. Right, so I'm guessing they've changed the game up pretty, pretty heavily. Frontliner, what do we want? Oh, damage, man. Go for damage. Now, we don't have the strongest team if we end up in a fight. Not for 10 days. But yeah, this should be fine. I'm actually going to end the episode here. We aren't doing too bad, actually, the way that it's good. We have um, Skaga and Victor now, which is good. I don't like the fact that these take resources instead of power cells. Like, 75 meat, which is something that we are struggling with. Well, not so much anymore, because we've done the meat efficiency. And actually, we can do the heal rate, which might really help with here. Does that change? <sighs> Two days? Ten days? Seems the same. But maybe now, when people do get injured, it's going to be a lot less. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Please do drop a like, a comment, all that good stuff. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. My name's Jay Riviera. Stay hidden, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.